go as slow as shadow on the mic I play to win, never to lose In the contest of champions I'm the one that shoes Swipe straight down, my moves are slick Dexterity more heavily, I dodge quick Class champ, I'm the master of the game Cosmic science, skill tech mutant I claim Arena and chill grind, that's how I roll No stress, no drama, just on patrol The fight, I'm swift, my tactics excite Lost shadows in the arena, ready to ignite From the streets to the screen, my skills are renowned in the world of Marvel, I'm the King Crown. So listen up, here's the story of the champ, Lord Shadow's the name. I'm the Grime Track fan. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. Yes, it is that time again. Time to take up another champion. And in this video, we're going to be taking up two champions. The first champion, and here's the hint, the first champion I've already used in the Spring of Sorrow. So it's a champion that could be used in the Spring of Sorrow week one, okay? I took that champion to rank four. The second champion I took to rank five. And of course, seven stars are a thing right now. So if I took a six star to rank five, that tells you a few things about this champion. Like they either don't exist as a seven star or they exist, but they need a high SIG. And the six star rank five will be superior. Okay? Because, of course, you're going to use some of the same resources that you would use on your seven star to rank this uh, six star up. Okay? Slightly less, but still, it'll set you back a little bit. All right? So, I'm actually pretty excited about the second one more than I am about the first one. And at the end of the video, we are going to have a showcase of that champion. We're going to go, we haven't done that in a while, we're going to go to Realm of Legends and showcase him a little bit. All right? But we're about to reveal it. Oh, wait. If you think you can guess these two champions, let me know in the comments below. But we're about to reveal it. In five, four, three, two, one. Jessica Jones is the first one that we're ranking up in this video. Now, I got a few reasons that I have decided to take her up. One, she is a rare champion. So she is very difficult to get. She is not in the basic pool. She's also not available as a seven star. So she is a prime candidate to take all the way up to rank five and ascend. So I did mention at the beginning of the video that I used this champion in the Spring of Sorrow. And you're gonna see that when I do release that video. She did quite well. So, I, I, when I was doing that uh, fight, I found myself wishing that she was ranked up higher. So eventually, I will take her to rank five. But for now, rank four will do and worked out very well. The other reason or another reason to take her up is that she is still a very annoying defender. And she's also decent on offense as well. So she's a dual threat. She's a champion that not a lot of people uh, have. So I had to take her up. I had to take her up. Um, I was going through some uh, YouTube videos and I did see uh, one video that, you know, was talking about different champions that are good to rank up. And she was listed among uh, a few others. You know, you want to rank up champions, at least right now, you want to rank up six stars that are not available as seven stars or that need their SIG level high. Those are the ones that are still worth uh, ranking up. Other than that, you probably want to wait 
uh, a little bit. All right. Now, for the next and last rank up, the one that I am more excited about. And that one is Mr. Sinister. So if you guys don't know, Mr. Sinister recently got a buff. That buff that he got has made him insane. He is awesome. I have used him in Battlegrounds. For those of you who have watched my Battleground streams, you've seen me use him, see what I did. I even made a short of Mr. Sinister and fighting um, Hulk that was in the Battlegrounds. So at the end of the video, I'm going to go into Realm of Legends, which I haven't done with him yet. But since I have used him, I'm a little bit familiar with what you got to do, which is a very simple, simple rotation for him. So he's also not available as a seven star. He is extremely friendly to the Alchi Masteries. And I do mean extremely friendly because he no longer takes any damage from bleed. So that means he's still going to get the bleed debuffs, but they will trigger willpower. So you're going to be healing. And then his special one will transfer bleed, uh, rather um, poison or whatever that he has on him over. But now the buff, they're going to get a degen. But the fact is, he won't have the bleed or the poison on him, even though he'll have the bleed, it won't do any damage. So we're going to play around with him in a Realm of Legends and see, just, just watch him, because it's more of a showcase, because I've already seen his power and devastating, um, destructive ability. All right. So anyway... Let's uh, take a brief moment, and I will be back in Realm of Legends. All right, before we head into Realm of Legends, I wanted to show you some of his synergies, because he has some awesome synergies and awesome synergy partners. All right, so with uh, Cable, randomly start the fight with either 25% passive attack rating 25% passive power rate or 25% passive armor rating. Any of those are good. Okay. I wish you could select them. And then you got this one. You'll gain 20% passive fury when fighting with a class disadvantage. And that's with the Magnetos. Wow. Now this one, not so good synergy partners because it's Cyclops. Maybe they'll get a buff. And uh, Phoenix as well. All three of these need a buff. Okay. Special attacks have 20% uh, critical rating plus 20% and gain true strike. That's okay. That's okay. Um, and then you have this one. One of the synergy partners is Kingpin, who I use a lot. And Ultron, also very, very good. Um, <clears throat> I haven't ranked my Ultron up yet. But they become power lock for six seconds. That can be very useful. All right. But we're not going to use any of those. We're going to go in here with just Mr. Sinister. And let's see what we can do to this guy here. I am running the ouchies. So I want to do parry and heavy. Okay. Parry. Heavy. All right. Now, you see my bleed? Here we go. Look at that. Look at the degen. And I can pause it like this. And I can pause it like this. Woo! Build up again. Another degen. Pause it. Boom. And done. 
How you like that? Now, I may not be using him to the best of his ability, but I want you to note that we still took uh, Winter Soldier down in 43 seconds. Okay. I am definitely a fan of Mr. Sinister now. You definitely want to rank him up. Let's see what he can do here. And we're going to do the same thing. Parry. Heavy. Parry. Heavy. Okay. Build up. Hit it with a special one. Come on. Ooh, I hate when they're passive like that. Okay. Come on. Oh, and by the way, his special uh, doesn't need to even hit them. Let me see if I can show you guys that. Okay. So now watch this. She's blocking, right? Boom. Still degenning. And of course, any crits, he heals most of that back up. So he's very tanky. Look at his health. Mr. Sinister is insane now. If he becomes available as a seven star, he will become one of my most wanted seven stars. Now, he's also a good counter for Bullseye. Believe it or not. Let's look at um let's let's do a, a, a juggernaut. Let's finish it up with a juggernaut. So parry. Charge heavy. Boom. And that heavy did some good damage on that crit, too. Okay. Just need to, uh... Okay. Ah. Come on. Holding me back. All right. Hit him with it. Look at that D-Gen. Look at the D-Gen. Pause it. Boom. Hit him again. Another D-Gen. Pause in it. Bam. If this don't convince you to rank up your Mr. Sinister, I don't know what will. All right. That is going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you all for watching. Take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about Mr. Sinister. All right? So take care, and you all have a blessed day. Arena and chill grind, that's how we roll. No stress, no drama, just on patrol. In the fight, he swift. His tactics be tight. Those shadows in the arena ready to ignite. From the streets to the screen, his skills be renowned. In the world of Marvel, Lord, the King Crown. Oh.